looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over and ranking the best top 10 Team of the Year fantasy players that you should be picking if you get one of these out of your fantasy pack. Now, remember, guys, we did get new solos. Team of the Year solo challenges, which do guarantee us a Team of the Year free fantasy pack. Now, the thing with this fantasy pack is, right... You can get any three available. So the point of this list, guys, is very simple. The point of this list is that you guys have a general idea of what my thinking is on most players, right? So the thing is, you might say, well, I don't necessarily might not get one of these guys on your list. Well, if you don't, you probably got one of the uh, ones that I don't consider top 10, right? So at that point, you make a judgment call based on your team. None of those guys are going to be meta or seem to be meta. But the thing with this is, is that going to be when you go ahead and get this pack, right? Let's say you open up your team of the year fantasy pack and you see that you get, uh, let's say, Russell Wilson, you get this guy and that guy, right? Let's say all three are on my list. So Russell Wilson, let's say, is my number two guy. This guy's my number three, and the last guy is actually my number 10th, right? So you might say, okay, so based on this list, I should go with the number two guy, but you don't want a quarterback. You have one. So you go with my number three guy, right? Or let's say you get a pack, and your offensive guy, your offensive pull is going to be my pick six, and no one else is on there. So maybe you go with my number six. You don't have to trust me. You know, I'm not God. I don't... I don't make the decisions for you, but if you do agree with what I'm saying or I lead you in a certain way, you can go ahead and adjust accordingly, right? So the point is here, I'm pretty much giving you the top 10 meta players within this that you can really use. And to get the pack, guys, if you don't know, 100 stars, pretty much gonna have to finish uh, the first set, the second set, and half of this set to get it. And you're pretty much good to go or finish all of them in case you don't get five stars in all of them. That's always something that does happen. So you should be able to get it regardless of five stars, at least get, uh, get it on most. If not, you might have to go back and do some, uh, redo some, which always sucks especially when they're half game solos but moving on guys uh this pack's super cool you definitely want to get it one of the more fun packs in madden but let's go through the rankings if you guys are new make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the noti bell guys can we get 50 likes on this video i'd greatly appreciate that you guys have been killing the like button i greatly appreciate that anyways let's go ahead into the auction block let's go over my list let's check out these rankings we're gonna start with number 10 of course because that is how i like to do i like to handle it that way right i start from the top it's no fun there the fun is starting from the bottom and working my way up as per usual. Now, let's go to the team of the year uh, filter. Let's filter by by now. There we go. So coming at number 10 actually is going to be Jason Sanders. Now, Jason Sanders, why is he on this list? Easy. Because you have a specialist spot in this pack right now. The odds of you getting... There's not too many specialists, right? There's some, and there's some good ones. So I'm giving you guys some specialists on this list because your offense and defense could suck, right? You can get a guy that you absolutely will not start in offense and defense, and you don't. It's a waste of a pack. Take the kicker. I promise you guys, you will get a lot of use out of a 96 kick power. In big games, right, like, you know, three seconds left, end of the fourth, half took a field goal, 60 yarder. Jason Sanders can nail that, right? And again, it's better than that 93 speed offensive player that you really just can't use or vice versa on defense, right? So I highly recommend that you guys do take the kicker at like number 10, right? This is if no one else on the list you got and the kicker's there and you can't start anyone else, just give them a look. Next on the list, the next guy here now, again, filtering through this is going to kind of be annoying, so I'm going to go by position. Corey Lindsley, really good center. Not the highest price, of course, but again, it's, it's you can't sell him. Corey Lindsley, really good. He gets all run blocking zones to be above 95, all run block, all pass blocking above 95, and more. He's great. You can't power him up, of course, but he's going to be an end game center, and that's the beauty of Lima right now. I've always I've always been an advocate for taking free linemen. Here's the thing, right? You take you take Russell Wilson. He's good. Super Bowl promo and NFL honors probably and new Mahomes card better than Russell. Gone. Russell's not useful anymore. Not a depth position. I either say take depth position or take alignment. Why? Because no one likes buying linemen. You need five of them. And these are going to be end game. So why not go ahead and take them? Next at cornerback, it's going to be Xavier Howard. Again, not the greatest, but he can be powered up. So he does get 95 speed. He will get 99 zone and press. His man won't be 99, but otherwise, guys, a super solid corner at a depth position. Right? He could be your one, your two, your three, or your four. Super cool. Uh, card art, of course, on all of them, which is what I love about this promo. But for real, like 95 speed, 96 excel is usable. Highly usable. And he gets 99 zone and press. He doesn't get the man, but he is... Uh, well, he has a high man. He doesn't get 99. He has good jumping. He has good height, good frame. Uh, decent catching, right? He's useful. He's a useful corner. There's one guy I like a little bit more than him, but the only thing with this guy is going to be that he doesn't get a power up. And that's Bryce Callahan. Bryce Callahan's really good as well. 95 speed, 96 excel. He's the counterpart. If you want a man, but not a zone 99, you go with Bryce Callahan. He gets 99 man. If you, if you play a lot of man, if you play both, if you if you have a balanced scheme, you go Xavier Howard. If you play mainly zone, you go Xavier Howard. If you uh, play mostly man, you, you go Bryce Callahan. It's that simple. Next on the list, 
This guy's another specialist for you guys in case you don't get the one that you do want. That's going to be Trey Hendrickson. I think he's actually a stud. He's really good even for a specialist. Trey Hendrickson, 87 speed, 92 excel, 88 strength, 95 tackle, 95 play rec, 92 block shed, 86 finesse move, 96, sorry, 86 power move, and 96 finesse move. He's going to be a threshold pass rusher, a threshold run stuffer, crazy good play rec, crazy good tackle, and crazy athletic. Trey Hendrickson is one of the better specialists. I Like I said, him or Sanders. If you get either one of those and you don't like your offensive or your defensive ones, go with him. Next, we got a wide receiver, Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs, again, they're all around the same price, but Stephon Diggs, this is, Justin Jefferson, I think, didn't cut it. He didn't cut it because he didn't have a power up. Had he had a power up, he'd be a lot better. But Stephon Diggs is everything you want in this Madden, right? And that's why it's priced a little bit more than the other ones. He will get powered up, right? 97 overall. We'll have a 95 speed. We'll have 99 route running on some of them if you do uh, chem up and power them up a certain way, like play fake. He will have super high 95 and above route running, regardless. 95 and above catching stats. He's six feet tall. 92 agility. He will have, let's see, after the catch, 88 carrying, 90 change of direction, 91 ball carry vision, 94 juke move. And let's see what else he has. Uh, that's it. So he can he can play after the catch very well. Really good with the ball in his hands. Really good catch. Really good route runner. Fits this Madden uh, meta for the most part just perfectly. Next, we have the tight end, Darren Waller. Now, I went with him over uh, Diggs primarily because the speed at tight end is a little bit more useful than the common speed you're getting at with Diggs, right? 95. Everyone has that right now. Darren Waller will get 93 speed. We'll have 99 catching in some aspects and maybe even 99 route running. With decent enough run blocking. Six foot six frame. Also huge. Super tall. This card is a great option, of course, with the speed combo with all that route running and catching. We'll be an end game tight end. Oh, I wouldn't say end game. He'd be at least end game uh, number two because, again, tight ends will eventually get to 99 speed. Right now, he's not, but eventually we will. But again, he's going to be one of the more uh, long term tight ends until, of course, we get those massively, you know, the game just breaks with speed, right? Next, we got a right tackle. This is the best lineman probably of the bunch. Jack Conklin. Jack Conklin, again, another great guy. If you, if, and this is if you don't mind taking linemen, right? He's going to have high pass blocking, high 90 pass blocking. High to mid-90 run blocking. Good strength. Good awareness. Has just about everything you need. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm a proponent for taking for taking linemen if you don't want anything else. Again, if you want if you want a skill position or you don't get them, go ahead and take other guys. Now, like I said, you could take Waller and Diggs over him if you want skill and you want fun, right? But if you're just a team like a God Squad that literally has everything, Randy Moss, Dion, everything you need, fill out that line. These are endgame linemen. You really don't have to upgrade them. The team of the year linemen have always been endgame. Like, you really don't need the ultimate legend. You can just rock with these. Next, we got... Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, Mack attack, left to linebacker, looks super solid. 87 speed, 90 excel, 88 strength, 95 tackle, 96 play rec, 94 block shed, 96 power move, and 90 finesse. We'll be a maxed out pass rusher at power move. We'll have a super high 95 block shed. We'll have a super high 97 play rec, and we'll get 88 speed with 91 excel. Super athletic, super great. If you can't afford Lawrence Taylor, any of those guys, again, different position, but if you can't afford those crazy edge rushers, Get Khalil Mack. He'll play like a, a, a similar version of maybe not slightly as maybe not as fast as some of them, but he will be super fast, super athletic, six foot three, super strong. Go ahead, pick up Khalil Mack. And then coming in at first, which I think for most people might be the hands down number one overall, Jamal Adams. If you see him in your pack, you take him. He's the highest price. As you guys can see, the rankings, my rankings are pretty solid if the price kind of correlates up as I go down. Jamal Adams, 94 speed, 95 excel, 90 tackle, 95 play rec. We will get 96 pursuit, 93 man, 96 zone, 97 hit power. Guys, powered him, chemed up. He will have 98 hit power. Insane. 99 zone. Insane. 99 man. So he will essentially just about have 99 zone, 99 man, and 99 hit power, and 99 play rec on a safety card. That is unbelievable. And 95 speed, 96 excel. You cannot go wrong with Jamal Adams. If you see him, like I said, if you see him, you take him. 88 agility. 77 strength, not the greatest, 94 stamina, 70 uh, catching, 88 change of direction. Nothing more to really look at here, but guys, this card's a goon. Not, there's no cards in the game right now. We're 99 man, 99 zone, and you can get 99 hit power as well if you did go run stuff, but again, you're probably going lockdown for the 99 stuff. But zone, man, you command, you command him up, you can zone him, he can lay the boom, so he can stop the run while playing the pass, man or zone, with the speed, and of course, I don't know what the block shed's like, let's check that out real quick, considering he's pretty good in the run game. I'm not seeing it. 84 block shed too. Holy crap, guys. Jamal Adams is insane. Get Jamal Adams. He's the number one option, guys. But that about wraps up. So remember, Jason Sanders, Corey Lindsley, Xavier Howard, Bryce Callahan, Trey Hendrickson, Stephon Diggs, Darren Waller, Conklin, Mack, and Jamal Adams. That is going to be the entire list. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe.
turn the noti bell like the video give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you guys do need coins to pick up any of these cards if you don't get any of the ones you like but you want someone on this list head over to my reserve down below and use code poodle for 30 percent off your order take advantage guys thank you so much for watching i'm out peace